Today, we're gonna to be checking out all five of Fender's new pedals. Fender has put out a lot of pedals in the past and none of those offerings have been that exciting. So I was curious to see what they're gonna do different this time. Is it gonna be the same old, same old, put out another line of pedals and see if that sticks? Or will the largest amplifier company in the world actually design and build some pedals that will complement these amplifiers? Well, I'm glad to say that these are some of the most impressive pedals I've seen. And I wanna share with you a bunch of the things that got me excited and I like about them. The first pedal in the series is the Level Set Buffer. If you're not familiar with the Buffer pedal, it's a really important pedal if you're running a lot of pedals or if you're running a lot of cable. Um, basically, you lose your high-end frequencies and this will help you put it back. But what they did was two features that I thought were really cool. One, when the pedal is not turned on, it's a mute and you can't hear any sound. You turn it on and now you get your sound. But what is also impressive is it has a line out to a tuner. So usually you would use your tuner's mute switch to mute and then tune. In this circumstance, you can leave the tuner on at all times and then use this to mute it, but it'll still show your tuner. The other feature is it says it level and high frequency. And one of the things I like about the level is that'll help you set a unity gain. Next, we're gonna talk about the Marine Layer Reverb pedal. And the reason is, is because we're running all these pedals through a 68 Princeton reverb with no reverb on. <laughs> It's a lot of times to say reverb. Anyways, uh, the reason is, is because we're gonna show off this pedal. Currently I have it in room mode. I really enjoy the room reverb sound on this pedal. If we switch over to the reverb on the amp. Although the spring reverb is very nice, I prefer this pedal. Now there's three features on it. It has a hall, a, a room, and a special, and it has a variation one and two. You have a pre-delay, a reverb time, a dampening effect, and a level. So we're running everything at basically 12 o'clock. I'm on the filter on on mode. I'm on variation one. And I'll run through them real quick. Let's turn them on. And we're gonna have first hall. Room and special. So th there is your three versions, and then you have two versions of each one of those effects plus full controls. Now, something to point out on all the pedals that's really interesting is you see these LED lights that let you know where the knobs are. Those are actually able to be turned on and off. So if you wanna be able to see on stage, that's great. But if you're at home or if you're somewhere in the studio and you don't wanna see the, the lights on at all times, you can turn them on on off on all of the pedals. So that's a cool feature. I, in fact, that's one of the things I thought of. I was like, I really like the LEDs, but I don't know if I'm gonna like them all the time. And then when I went to the manual, I go, oh, you can turn them off. So next we're gonna to go to the compressor. Now this is called the bends. And what's interesting about that is it has four controls. It has the blend, which lets you blend the dry and the compressor signal. The drive, which is, uh, which is a, basically a gain control on it. And you're gonna have recovery, fast and slow, which is uh, gonna be how fast it lets go of the note once the compression has started. Pretty sure that's right. But it, uh, and then a level control. So here you go. That's without it, turn it on. Uncompress it. Compression. And of course, a really impressive feature on this is, in fact, my favorite feature on this pedal is the LED, which is white, switches to red or actually flows into red. And of course, the harder we run it, let's go ahead and drive it up harder the more the red LED takes over. So you can tell visually how the compression is working. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to the mirror image delay pedal. Now this is a full feature set delay. Uh, you're gonna have three, times of delay, uh, three types of delay, sorry about that. You have digital, analog, and tape. Um, you're gonna have a dotted uh, eighth note on and off. Uh, variation one and two, kind of like the um, Marine uh, Layer Reverb. Something to also note, these two pedals are digital and these four pedals are analog. Again, everything thought out really, really well. Um, and I'm not just saying that. <laughs> I was looking for the, the you know, the, the, the hiccups in this because it's a really good lineup of pedals. So the delay, you're gonna have all these features. I'm currently running in digital. So I have it in digital and this is kind of the settings I like. <laughs> 
right? So go into the middle position on this and give you a little. Now you're gonna notice that the delay has that kind of real cool pitch modulation at the end, and I thought that was really cool too. I'm gonna to turn that off now. So next we have the Santa Ana drive. And what's interesting about this was I brought a friend over to kind of give me some opinions because I was going through all the pedals. And the first thing I said to him when we were playing this, we were really both shocked. It was really the kind of the star of the show. I'm gonna show you the pedal, it's straightforward. Three band EQ, presence control. There's a voice uh, control that lets you switch between the two voices, basically more bass, less bass kind of thing. Uh, level and drive. I'm running the drive just a little bit below 12 o'clock. I want to show you what kind of sounds you get from that. Here we go. Now what's nice about this is you can turn the gain all the way up and get more saturation, but they added a boost control to just push it over. So I actually like to turn the gain down a little bit and I'll show you just the gain and add some boost. Another advantage of the boost is if you have a single coil guitar and you're playing a humbucker guitar and you're switching back and forth, uh, this will help kind of keep the gains level. So I'm going to show you, here's the, the gain control, and I'm going to show uh, on a humbucker, here we go, single coil mode. So you see you, you lose a lot of the grit. Here's the back of the humbucker. So go to the single coil mode, hit the boost. And you get that back. Another thing I love is I can run my compressor into this, and I love the way that sounds. I'm going to show you that right now. Go to the humbucker mode. Here's the pedal uh, with uh, just with, like I said, the gain set where it is. Hit this compressor, and what I want to do on the compressor is kind of use it like a tube screamer, push the drive and the level a little bit, just a little bit harder. I love this. The compressor is so quiet, right? Turn it off. I mean, it's not hissing. It's not crazy. You're a little hum, but nothing crazy, right? And now you hit the delay, and now you can get the... Okay, so now the last uh, but not least is the Pugilist, Distortion. Now this is a distortion, and what's interesting about, even though this just has that kind of really full uh, sound, uh, the pricing is kind of a little strange. I think this is like 100, this is like 130, I could be off, this could be backwards. It's around that price. This is 150, I think, each one of these, which is very applicable to the to price market of, of these type of pedals. Um, but this pedal is $100 and this pedal is $200 and I want to explain a couple of things why. This is really loaded with features. Not only do you get the, bo the boost, but on the back, obviously you can turn the LEDs on and off like I said. There's a true bypass or buffered. So you can choose which, uh, which way you want this, right? So right now I have it in true bypass because I'm using a buffered pedal. But if you didn't purchase the buffered pedal, you could use this and buffer it, which is nice. And then you have a foot switch select. So you can select a uh, drive or level on the the boost. So that's important because right now I have it in drive, you know, I was pushing more gain, but you could use the uh, switch it over to level. Let me show you that and get that delay back. And now uh, using it, you can use this to boost the level up. And what's impressive is there's an LED over here. Again, this is a really thought out box. I could actually see where I could take this and this reverb pedal and uh, I'm, I'm done. I just take that to everywhere I go and I'm good. Um, so like I said, very impressed with the pedal on every level. Now, the distortion pedal. 
uh, the pugilist. Uh, it's an interesting idea, and it kind of it's, it's probably not based on this, and that's another thing to talk about too. None of these pedals are copies of anything. Okay, now that's Fender's statement, um, but I, I obviously being a pedal collector, I don't really hear. Like, oh yeah, that's the Tube Screamer. Oh yeah, that's the Klon. Oh yeah, that's the, you know, uh, the so-and-so compressor. So I understand what they're saying. I don't really see where they're, you know, they're reminiscent of anything I, I can recognize. Um, however, the Pugilist Distortion, one thing I thought was interesting was it's kind of like the Fender Supersonic in the idea that it's stacking the gains. And there's a switch that lets them run in series or you can blend them. I prefer blending them. Uh, series will just put them in front of each other. So it's running the distortion into a distortion. I could really see where they'd be fun, but the blend is really the impressive part. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Again, running everything kind of at 12 o'clock. Here we go, give you a little taste of that. You have a tone, a gain, a tone, a gain, the blend control, and then a level. Bass boost, uh, which I'm sure helps uh, for the single coil mode. Let's go ahead and demo that. For single coil mode, bass boost off. Hit that bass boost on. Just thickens it up. I can see where. Yeah, it makes it a little smoother uh, and doesn't make it especially on those high strings, that's pretty, ugh. and then you can thicken it up. Now, I wanna show you how crazy the pedal gets. I have it in blend, which I like, I'm mixing the two pedals. Let's run it in series and run the gains. This is the gain A and B. This is a lot of gain. So now what I want to do is I'm going to turn the reverb off and I'm going to turn the delay on and give you a taste of the pugilist through the delay. And here we go. This one, of course, no additional features uh, like the Santa Ana, which is loaded features. So you can see what's impressive is not each individual pedal. That's actually pretty cool. But they really thought out this line. I mean, this is really an, int an interesting idea because this is pretty much all you need. Maybe this in the looper and you're done. Uh, you know, um, and <laughs> that's that's a smart way to enter into the pedal market by saying, hey, look, we you know, start with any one of these pedals and end with any one of these pedals and you won't be, you know, needing anything else. There's a couple of couple of features I want to show you. First off is that they put battery access doors. I know there's a lot of videos already about this um, using these uh, magnets. I'm going to show you that again. Check that out. You can open it up and put a nine volt battery in there. And um, what I am impressed with was one that they actually made space for the battery, even though the pedals are kind of large. Still, you're noticing more and more of no batteries. Um, but also that they made the access easy and that, you know, it's not like the old days where you still have to take the door off and you can lose it or you have to take screws out or anything like that. This is just easy access. I want to show you one last feature on the uh, digital pedals, which is a dry or kill switch on the back. It's dry or kill on both the reverb and the delay. And what that does is you can set it to where when you're having delay, if you turn the pedal off, it finishes out the decay of the delay or it immediately stops. Same with the reverb. If you turn the reverb off, do you want the reverb to continue out the way it was and then finish or just dead stop? But I'm really curious what you guys think. Not only your impressions, because I'm sure your impressions were like mine. Uh, you know, Fender's doing this again is this you know what is this going to be um, let me know are you impressed already with what you've seen out there about the fender pedals if you tried the pedals you know let me know if you kind of agree with me what i've said or if you found another experience like hey you didn't like them as much or you did like them even more as always guys i want to thank you so much for spending some time with me today and until next time know your gear